Catherine here with Catherine's Plate. I want to thank everyone for coming to my show today. It is Fall Food Friday. This is a collaboration with Moss Family TV. They have vlogs, cooking shows, they have grocery hauls, cleaning, homeschooling, they have it all every day. So go check out their channel. I will link their channel down in my description box below. All right, Fall Food Friday. My dish is going to be pecan pie cookies. All right, and to get started, first off, you need a festive environment. All right, pull out the pumpkins, pull out your orange greens and your fall colors, y'all. Light a candle and then start making this dish. All right, pecan pie cookies. My husband loves pecan pies in any way, shape, or form, but he's never had them in a cookie form, so he's got a treat today. And what you're gonna need is your basic ingredients for pecan pie, which are eggs, brown sugar, butter, I've got corn syrup, and of course, pecans, right? You need pecans and a little bit of salt. And then we're going to need pie crust. All right, y'all, we're gonna get started and put these cookies together for you. All right, so in a medium pot, we're going to add four tablespoons of melted butter, two-thirds cup of brown sugar, four eggs that I have lightly beaten, half a cup of corn syrup, quarter teaspoon of salt, and one cup of chopped pecans. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a mix, and then we're gonna put it on our stove top. All right, so we're going to, I have this on a medium heat. So we're gonna continually stir this until we get a nice thick batter in here. All right, now we have that pudding-like consistency. Do you see that, y'all? That's really nice. All right, we're gonna go ahead and turn this off and we're gonna set this aside and then we're gonna start making the cookie part of it. All right, to start the cookie part of this, I am using pie crust, so you're going to need two pie crusts for this. I'm going to put a little, just a little bit of flour on my surface here. Wipe it out a little bit. All right, I'm going to take my dough here and unpeel it. And roll it out very carefully. All right, my oven has been preheating at 400 degrees, so now it's telling me that it is done. All right, I'm gonna take my rolling pin and I'm just gonna roll this out just a little bit. Get any creases and that out of it. But not too thin, we don't want these too thin. All right, so I have a little bit right there, so I'm just gonna you don't want any holes in this. You don't want that filling to drip out. All right, now that we got that, yep, that's movable, all right. All right, and take a little bit more flour, just a little bit. Just put a little bit more right there. Glass or a cookie cutter about three inches wide all the way around. And I'm just going to do this so that it's floured on the edges there. All right. And then I'm just going to push down. And there we go. All right. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with that. All right. So I'm going to lay my round on top of some parchment paper. This 
all right is what's going to hold our filling so what we're going to do now is on this one is we're going to just come around the edges of it and just kind of crimp it up a little bit about one eighth of an inch not too much kind of like we're making a pie see what this will do is hold the filling into the into your cookie There we go. Now we have a nice little edge around it, and that's going to hold our filling. So we'll get to the filling here in a minute. I'm going to finish doing my cookies here. All right, now what I'm doing is I'm taking my filling. As you can see, it is a good consistency there, just like pudding, right? All right, I'm, ta I'm taking a tablespoon of it like that one there just a table not too much because you don't want it to go over the edges of your pie cookie and then just flatten it down in there just like that all right y'all these are ready for the oven eight minutes i'm going to put them in there for while they're cooking i'm going to go ahead and start my second pie crust for the cookies because that will finish off the mixture in here and then we'll be right back all right y'all my, my pecan pie cookies are done look at these all right it made about two dozen cookies all right 12 cookies per uh, pie crust all right you can certainly cut that in half if you would like and use one pie crust and just half the recipe for the pecan mixture inside. All right, y'all, I'm going to go in and take a bite for you. Look at that. And then you see the nice crust on the bottom. It's holding its shape very well. Do you see me holding it like this? Nothing's falling off of this cookie. <laughs> all right, there we go. And all the edges held in, all of that caramelization there. Mmm. Oh my god. It's like a pecan pie. What can I say? Mm. Alright y'all. Hope you enjoy these little to-go <laughs> pecan pie cookies. Just grab them and go. Alright. I want to thank everyone for coming to my Fall Food Friday. Remember, it was a collaboration with the Moss Family TV, which is linked down below in my description box. All right, y'all, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below what you think. And then also, if you're new, make sure you subscribe. My shows come out on Mondays and Thursdays, but I always have surprises along the way. <laughs> so if you hit the bell, you'll be notified when my shows come out. All right, I will see you on my next episode.